Want to learn how to do this glitch effect in Premiere without using any plugins? Stay tuned. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for today's bonus filmmaking tip. Okay, so you want to do some cool matrixy looking glitch with your text, but you don't want to go hunting for some third party Premiere plugins. The good news is this is super easy to do in Premiere without plugins. So let's dive in. As always, I'm working in Premiere version 15.2, but if you have an older or newer version, yours may look slightly different. Okay, so I'm in Premiere, and I have a text layer here on Video Track 1. First, let's duplicate my text clip and put the copy on Video Layer 2 by selecting the clip and holding down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and dragging upwards. So now we have two of the same text clips, one on top of the other. Now, the way we're going to create the glitch is to simply modify only the top layer and leave the bottom layer alone. Then we'll cut back and forth between the two. So first, let's modify the top layer. You can use a few different effects to do this glitch, but my favorite is Wave Warp. So let's go to the Effects palette and do a search for Wave Warp. And when the effect pops up below, let's drag it to our top layer. So you see the text looks a little wobbly now, but for a techie looking glitch, we don't want these wobbly edges. So let's go to the effects control panel and find the wave warp section. And under it, change the wave type to square. Then let's change the wave height to 60 and width to 24. And let's change your wave speed to negative 15. So now we're gonna cut up the top layer and we'll take out sections so that we see the top and bottom layer intermittently. So to do the cut, let's get the razor tool from the tools palette, otherwise referred to as the cut tool, which is also shortcut C on your keyboard. And let's make a few slices in your top layer every few frames by moving your playhead ahead four or five frames and making a slice. You really only wanna go a few frames ahead at a time, like five or less. And you can move your playhead one frame at a time by using the left or right arrow keys on your keyboard. So repeat the slicing process until you reach the end of your clip. And since video glitches are somewhat random and erratic, you wanna to try to mimic this. And if you do your slices randomly, say three frames, then five frames, this will make your effect look a little more realistic. Okay, so now you have a top layer with a bunch of slices. And now we're going to remove every other chunk of text by selecting the Move tool here at the top of the Tools palette or shortcut V on your keyboard and highlighting every other clip, then hitting Delete. So now your timeline looks like this. And if we play it down, it looks kind of boring and basic. So we want to make it look a bit more random and erratic. And we do this by modifying every other Video 2 layer clip so that it's moving in a slightly different manner. So let's go to the first one and change the direction of the glitch in the Effect Controls palette. Make sure you're in the Wave Warp section. And change the direction to zero on the first clip. Then we'll skip the second clip and go to the third one and do the same thing. And repeat this process until you get to the end of your text clips. Okay, so the very last thing I'm going to do is to get rid of the bottom layer during the parts where it's glitching so that it's not showing through. And the easiest way to do this is to select all your clips on video layer 2 and drag them down over the bottom layer so that it overwrites it in those sections. And now if you play your timeline down, you've got a nice little glitch. And that's it! Remember, different fonts will glitch differently, so be sure to play around with various fonts and find the perfect one for your piece. All right, friends, let's do that tip. 
So now you've got a nice little glitch, but you know what would make the effect even better? That's right, the perfect glitch sound effect. It may be a subtle difference, but in my opinion, it makes all the difference. So do a little internet search for a royalty-free glitch sound effect and make your glitchy text that much more believable with the perfect sound. As always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.